Hey guys, how's it going? So this is Josh with Josh the Techie, um, and welcome back to part two on setting up our Windows Server 2012 uh, network. So in this video, we're going to be looking at ADDS or Active Directory and Domain Services. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing is actually creating users for our network. Um, and then in the next video, we're going to be looking at DHCP, so assigning IP addresses. And then after that, we can then hook up another PC, um, join it to our domain, and uh, then we can actually start using a bit of group policy and actually sorting out our network. So we're getting there. So in this video, let's take a look at setting up, like I said, ADDS, Active Directory and Domain Services. Um, Active Directory is basically where you store all your user uh, info, uh, not user info, but user accounts. It's like a big control panel, really, uh, for just users. And then uh, DS or a Active Directory and Domain Services. Um, a domain service is a um, domain name server uh, or DNS. And basically, what a domain name server does is it converts IP addresses into, or sorry domain names into IP addresses. So say you have the um, the name google.com you want to go to um, obviously Google servers have an IP address but us humans like to know names a lot more than numbers because um, Google does have an IP um, which would probably be something long uh, however we can remember google.com a lot easier than we can 86.22. Four dot ninety nine or something, whatever it's going to be. Um, so basically, a, D a DNS server converts names into IP addresses, uh, and it all does it in the background in a fraction of a second. Um, so we don't know, um, but it is one of the most important things on the internet. And without it, you wouldn't be able to go. If you typed in Google.com, your web browser wouldn't even know what to do. So let's get this installed. So in the last video we configured our server with our server name, so we've got serve01 here, and we gave it a static IP address of 192.168.1.10. Why did I start at 10? Because from the IPs of uh, 1.0 to 10 we can have enough space for our router, we can have enough space for any external firewalls we want up to 10, obviously, and then after maybe about 20 from the DHCP server we could then um, assign that new those you know new devices from um, that IP there. So I'll get into that in the next video. But like I said, let's just stick to ADDS in this video. So how do we install this? Well, what we do is we go up to Tools. Um, well, that's wrong. We go up to Manage here, and we go Add Roles and Features. And as you can see, it brings up the Add Roles and Features wizard. And what we do is we're going to hit Next and we want a role based or feature based installation now we do have the option to do a remote desktop service installation which installs uh, required role services for virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI to create virtual machine based or session based desktop deployment we definitely want to do role based server selection now this is something actually new in Windows Server 2012 um, if you have you can actually get the server manager for like a um, just one server. So if you wanted to work on one server instead of having to separately go to all the different servers to install things, you could select from this list the other servers you want to install uh, install it on. Um, because if you've got a thousand users, for example, and you've got them all logging on and on and off, um, you'd want to have a server dedicated to Active Directory um, and a server maybe like uh, dedicated to domain services. So being able to separate this is a really nice feature in Server 2012. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a server from the server pool. This is a server pool here, and we're just going to select the one we've got here. We've only got one, so we can just go with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to install Active Directory Domain Services. You can install Active Directory on its own, and you can also install DNS Server on its own. But to make things a lot easier and simpler, we can just go with uh, ADDS. And when this window comes up, you can see it's going to tell us what it's going to install. Uh, include management tools if, uh, if applicable. We do want that. We're going to add features and then we're going to hit next. We don't actually need anything else here um, so we can just hit next here and next again and install. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to start to install um, Active Directory and our domain services so when this is done what we're going to be able to do is have Active Directory um, and then we got to configure our domain server um, so a domain would be something like um, 
I don't know, uh, home serve. If it was a maybe it was a um, a main centralized uh, server for a um, woodwork um, workshop, you could have it maybe called um, woodwork um, woodwork server one dot local. Um, or you, sorry, actually no, you'd put uh, you might call it um, ww server dot local. It's uh, domain is not necessarily a um, a name of one machine. A domain is a group of machines. So it's basically like um, if you had um, a business like Google, you might create a domain called Google dot local. Local dot local just means it's it's localized within that building, or it's a um, you could have Google dot net. You could put basically whatever you want it. It doesn't rely like on a domain as you might know it as going to google.com on your internet browser. It's separate separate completely uh, from that. It's more of just a name um, to the actual um, uh, servers, if you see what I mean. So as you can see, look, it looks like it's done. So it says configuration required. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to hit close here. And you can see by our little uh, notifications, we actually have an exclamation mark. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to promote this server to a domain controller. And now this is actually where we need to set up our uh, DNS server. Um, so as you can see, what we need to do is, as we haven't already got one, we're going to need to add a new forest. Now, forest is like um, pretty much a domain. <laughs> uh, this is another word, another name for it, I guess. Um, specify the domain information in this room. So we're going to call this server. Um, uh, I might call this JTT dot local. Okay, like so. And we're going to hit next. And what this is going to do is just make sure that there's no other ones called that on the network and then allow us to continue. So here, once it's done, we want server 2012 as our forest functioning level and domain functioning level as 2012. And for the uh, DSRM password, so directory services for store mode, we are going to type in a password here. Um, I'm going to use the same password as I used to log into um, uh, the main server so I can keep all the passwords the same to be honest and as you can see here it says a delegation of this DNS server cannot be created um, blah 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 that's pretty much like a, just a normal uh, error you get so we don't need to worry about that at all just hit next and then the net BIOS name that's like just the domain name of the the server um, so as you can see, look, it's removed the dot local, so we just got JTT there. And that's fine, and that's what we want. It when it says it's verifying it, that's just making sure that there's no other server on the whole network or um, WAN or LAN or whatever um, called that. Because obviously, you don't want to have two servers on the same netbias name because that would confuse things up a little bit. These here, um, you know, you don't need to um, really worry about this. I mean, if you've got another drive you're going to keep all these database folders on and things like that then change them but if not just keep them on the C drive I think it keeps things, keeps things a lot easier and we're going to hit next here just a review of what we've selected here new domain name jtt.local netbars name of domain jtt that's fine apparently I'm getting a phone call from someone they can go away I'll quit out of Skype actually so they don't call me hmm oh cool quit there we go, sorry about that. Right, so now um, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit next here. And uh, it says if we click, we'll probably get a few errors here just to let you know. Um, it, but one will probably say that we can't, well, it wouldn't like it because we, we're going to be running it as a domain controller and things like that. Look, Windows Server domain controllers have default blah blah blah. A delegation of this DNS server cannot be created. Um, because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found does not run a uh, does not run a DNS so basically it's it's fine it really doesn't matter on here we're just gonna hit install it'll work perfectly fine um, so what this is going to be doing now is actually installing um, the domain servers and Active Directory and like I said Active Directory contains all the users on our network and domain services is like um, uh, a group of computers and um, or a like a 
it's sort of like imagine like a house with a front door. You'd go through the front door. That's how. Then once you walk, walk through the front door, you're in the domain. Um, but obviously, there are levels of authentication to get in, and that's why domains are so good because they are um, secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this do what it needs to do, and I will come back when it's done. Okay, so it's just come up with an error saying you're you're about to be signed off um, because uh, Active Directory was installed. So we're going to hit close here, and as you can see, it's actually done it all. So we're going to hit close, and now what it's doing is restarting our server. So I'll come back when it's done. Now the server might take a lot longer to turn on the normal because now we've installed Active Directory and domain services. They're actually services that the computer has to turn on when you turn the machine on and it has to start them all so it's just extra um, processes I guess and as you can see look we now have or we're now logging on to the domain jtt um, dot, uh, backslash administrator meaning the username but this is going to become handy that that path there uh, in future videos so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in here obviously as administrator and then um, pretty much we're, we're nearly done I'm just going to show you Active Directory quickly and then um, we're going to move on to setting up um, DHCP and then once we get done that we can then get our Windows clients connected so as you can see our um, we now have internet access because if you remember we uh, configured I'll show you we configured the um, our network connection our Ethernet cable here um, as IPv4 and we set the DNS server so remember we installed the Active Directory and Domain Name Services DNS <laughs> and we set it to a loopback address meaning 127.0.0.1 and basically um, that's just saying I want our DNS server to be this computer and before we weren't getting any internet access because there was no DNS server so hey you can't really point you to something that doesn't exist so now we have a DNS server you can see we now have internet access so that's pretty much why um, or why we didn't have internet access a minute ago and as you can see here we got DNS running fine active directories running fine and our file and storage services are running fine as well so um, that's pretty much it for this video we've now configured active directory and domain services uh, I'll show you active directory quickly here but we'll definitely get familiar with this in the next couple of videos um, so here we got jtt.local and then we need here we got our users all these users will get into these not necessarily using them all but we got computers as well um, domain controllers so server 01 but we'll I'll show you what these do uh, in a future video so that's pretty much it for this one guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video click that like button below um, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, so server videos, uh, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and if you've got any questions or need any help or support or anything like that, um, don't be afraid to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to uh, answer it for you. Um, brilliant. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.